Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Serena Gaming. We are here in Near Replicant. I caught myself, I almost started recording while I was muted again. Alright. Uh, we are just checking in on this game. I've done a few... Mm, excuse me. I've done a few of the side quests already, and I've got Vice now. Nothing has changed so far. Oh, hold on. What are you doing, Vice? Look this way. Literally the only change from the first playthrough of the first half of the game is that the mother's diary is already here. So you can go through the diary and level up now. Uh, I, I have a good feeling that if I tried doing that, it would kill me right now. So not going to bother with that. Instead, we are going to talk to Devila. Hey, Devila. Oh, non evil Devila. I was worried about you. I heard you went through the Eastern Gate and. Wait, is that a book? Yes, a talking yeah, one. It's. She should know who Vice is, so she's playing dumb. Now, see here. I am Grimoire Vice, and you will treat me with the proper respect. Wait, you're Grimoire Vice? Oh, that is so cool. Hold on, what? You know him? Of course. He's the white book I was just singing about. He's in your song? Yeah, the Song of the Ancients. It's an old tune that's been passed down through generations of villagers. It's in a forgotten language, so I doubt you could make much sense out of it. Do you know what it means? Well, it's not like I studied it or anything. But I can tell you bits and pieces. There's this terrible black book that shows up and starts spreading disease all over the place. But then this white book appears and saves the world and everyone's happy. You know how it goes. What is it? Uh, it's nothing. So how exactly does this white book save the world? It's just a song, yeah? I don't really know the details. Oh. Aw, don't be sad. Uh, look, why don't you go ask Popola? If she's got a big brain, maybe she knows something. That's a good idea. Thanks. Okay. So, we're just gonna play a bit today. I I just wanted to check in, see if there are any other changes, since a I have vice. A black book. And a disease. Is something the matter? No, I was just thinking. I believe the next area we should go to should be the airy, airy where we meet Kaine, which is why I wanted to record a bit, see if I can get her reintroduction on camera, maybe? If it's just more uh, side quests and stuff, I'll probably just cut out the video and slap this together with whenever we get to something interesting again. I heard about Yona. I... I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Well, maybe you can help. What do you know about the song that Devilo was singing? She sings a lot of songs. Can you be more specific? Wait, is that... Grimoire Vice? You know Vice? Finally. Someone who appreciates quality when they see it. Yes, well, the Song of the Ancients. Let's see. Okay. When the great black book, Grimoire Noir, brings calamity upon the world, the white book, Grimoire Vice, will appear with his sealed verses. He will then use them to vanquish Grimoire Noir and purge the calamity he wrought, or so the legend goes. What's a sealed verse? No such records remain, so I can't say for sure. But they seem to resemble some form of magic. Magic. So... That's it! This is kind of like a Dune thing where Devila and Popola have planted this myth there that they can share to kind of 
push people on the road towards Grimoire Vice doing whatever it is he needs to do. Uh, what? So the song says Grimoire Vice purchased the world of this calamity, right? And he does so using these sealed verses. Oh, and you believe the matter I infused in the shrine is one of these sealed verses? Exactly, Vice. With your power, we can cure Yona. Guys, don't get too excited. This is just some old legend. Hey, Vice was just some old legend yesterday, but here he is. He makes a good point. And if he's real, the rest of it must be too. He can cure the Black Scrawl. I know he can. Do we know anything regarding the whereabouts of this Grimoire Noir? No, and he plays a surprisingly small uh, part Sorry, in this whole thing. But there's nothing about that in any of the records. All I can say for sure is that there are a number of sealed verses out there. Also, it appears the shades you fight and these verses are intrinsically linked. Then we'll go kill every shade we can find! Yes, yes, we know, Jonah. No! Near. That's far too dangerous! Not Jonah anymore. What an absurdly reckless plan! So I should just sit around and do nothing while Yona suffers? I don't think so. But... Uh, well, it's clear I won't be able to talk you out of this, so... I've heard the Shades are gathering near a village called yes. the Airy. Yes, yes, yes. It's past the bridge on the Northern Plains. They should be done with the repairs by now. I marked it on your map for you. Maybe you could find one of the sealed verses there. Yes. Once you arrive, be sure to speak to the village chief. He lives in the house up on the highest point in the area. And he's a dick. Got it. And be careful. I've just come off of a week of playing Automata, which has ever so slightly different controls, so this will be interesting. I must say, that Song of the Ancients is a rather catchy number. You like it I can see why the you. bards kept it alive through the eons. Yeah, it's a real toe tapper. Wait, do you even have toes? That's a lot of side quests. This is a weird place for a village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? Is anyone even here? We don't trust your kind. Uh, oh, crap! That did not sound good. I think we broke something. Well, there is little point in finishing the delivery now. Let's go back and apologize.
Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about the sealed verses. She's just like her. Like kindly. Well, this appears to be a glorious waste of time. This must be the chief's house. Who goes there? Uh, well... Be calm, strangers. Wait, listen to... This village at once and never return. What a pathetic bunch of rabble. It would appear there are no powerful shades here. The sealed verses would never be found that. in They'll such a place. Up. Yeah. Let's go talk to Popola and figure out a new plan. Our village at once. So I did some uh, item farming in the area before I went into the latest ending. And I got very used to running in and out of here very quickly. Nice flowers. Those are Luna Tears, <laughs> legendary flowers of almost perfect beauty. You're kidding. Those are the ones I told Yona about. Hands off the flowers. Uh, Vice, why you. is that lady in her underwear? I fear we have greater issues to deal with. A shade? I don't want to fight her. Son of a bitch. I knew this would happen. Sure what would happen? This woman is certainly not to be trifled with. Fought you a few more times already, so. Did we get her? Let's go. 
forgotten how hideous this thing is. There are many other ways she could have done that. I told you to stay out of the way. are disappearing. Huh? <laughs> is she human? This one has been possessed by a shade. She exists as neither fully human nor other. I feel bad for treating her like one of those things. We have to help her. You're awake. You. I'm sorry we attacked you. We thought you were a shade. Have you ever seen a shade this sexy? Well, you're half right. Now get the hell out of here. Now see here. We made our apologies and came to your aid. The least you can do is grace us with your name. It's okay, Vice. She's probably just exhausted. My name's Kaine. Ah, the name we heard back in the village. Look, nothing good is gonna happen if you stick with me. So do like I said and go. Get lost already, would you? Oh, one more thing. That monster back there, it's mine. Stay the hell away from it. A half human and a giant shade. She's kind of pretty, but she's really intense. Yep, that sums it up. 
Okay, here we are. We've done a bunch of side quests now. Nothing has changed. The only thing that I didn't do in my first run through that I've done here is I did a side quest where you get food for Yona to cook with and she turns venison in, and wheat into some type of disgusting meat slurry smoothie concoction that breaks Jonah, breaks near. Oh gosh, need to get used to this. Um, but yeah, so we are heading back to the airy for the next part of that battle with Big Dude. So I'll see you as I get to the airy. Here we are. Shades. Yeah, very observant. Here? We thought you could use a hand. Come on. Yes, and I do believe a heartfelt thank you is in order, hmm? Yeah, that's not happening. What could have caused these shades to appear in such force? I don't know, but they're all over the village, too. Here then we, we need to go help. We might be able to find a sealed burst while we're at it. Come on. I have been leaving these boss fights in for this second run through of the first half because it has been a while since we've seen them. This is hardly the time to be writing letters. Yeah, thanks. Whereas we got to see the second half boss fights three times. And A, B, C, yeah, like three or four times. Uh, this is the second time seeing this fight, and it's been so long, it's been over a year, I believe, that it, it's worth leaving it in, because we've grown so much since then together. The real near is the friends we've made along the way. Yes, hello. God raised. Yeah. As if there were any other choice. Run in hell, you fucking asshole. Uh, did you just say what I think you said? No. Nope. Tear out your goddamn eyes. Piss in the sockets. That's one of my personal favorites. Oh, oh come on. I come on. Have never heard oh, so close. Thing. Kainé struggles. You must hurry. Oh, I jumped that. Oh, something's happening. Oh, this is today. Sorry. Oh, not too sorry. You guys suck. I love how he picks that up and uses it as this little shade salt. I'll take care of the big shaker. one. You worry about the rest. Like, oh, here are some little shade balls for flavor. Get out, half breed. You brought these shades here. Don't watch you. Just leave us in peace. Not the friendliest town in the world, is it? You disgust me. You disgust us all. Yeah, Don't screw you, you too. Call yourself a human. <laughs> Suppose. Get out! Get out of our village! What is wrong with you people? Seriously. She's trying to help you. Don't defend me. Sorry to keep 
believe you. Why are these people saying such horrible things about you? Whatever. It's all true anyway. Huh? What is that thing it's holding? It appears to be spewing them from within. Well, whatever it is, we need to take it out first. That helps. Technically, we threw Kinda. him. I'll drive him to you. Get up there and wait for him. All right, watch yourself. There you go. I know. Run through the box area. Where am I? Get 
can escape us no longer. It's great to have you on our side, Kaimi. Oh my god, shut up. Look, just try and keep up, okay? I'm doing my best. Upon, you know, second playthrough, uh, uh, has the shade come actually come absorbed her grandmother's side. ability? And it doesn't seem so like so Nier is able to understand, so, so this continues to be so only kind and can understand. Why go on living anymore? Kaine? Is that it? Hmm? Are you finished yet? Don't speak to your grandma like... You're going to stop talking now. And then I'm going to slowly walk over to you, cram my hand inside your goddamn bitch-ass chest, and pull out your fucking heart! <laughs> Giving this game an M rating is entirely <laughs> worth it for these songs. My grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never! I've spent my entire life searching for a way to avenge her death. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. Do you know how long I've been like this? How much I loathe myself? Oh, watch out. He's there. Like a pinball. Almost there. Almost there. No. I'm on it. If I can get to it. Come on. Get out here. Okay. I think she intends to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. That's not your decision. Mm. Say, shove it, Vice. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's alive. She has meaning and worth. And we're going to save her. Everyone has something to live for. Even Kaine. Even Yona. Perhaps you should save your pretty words for her instead of wasting them on me. Kaine, over here! 
Don't give up. You're stronger than that. Don't you dare give up now. This woman is more trouble than she's worth. That's it. Come on. It's very digital, which also is kind of foreshadowing to the whole thing that they are androids. Like, her consciousness is digital, so reaching through like that <sighs> makes a lot more sense. Fuck. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> Love you so much, Kaine. <laughs> That's what the second playthrough of the beginning There's is about. Just again. Every time I wake up from it filled with pain and sadness. With this feeling like I've somehow forgotten something extremely important. When I look at my broken sword, it reminds me of my battle with the Shadow Lord. What? Huh. Somehow it's been three whole years since I saved Yona. What? <laughs> that was supposed to be it. Goal achieved. Game over. who pulled her back Three after saving her grand passed, after killing the shade and i still haven't found the answer to that question she can't remember near can't remember jonah Exactly the restful sleep I was hoping for. Damn it. Oh, and Emil's staff is there too. Do we get to find Emil? Guess I'll go kill some shit. It's happening. Emil. After all this time, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, this is what we have been waiting for. <laughs> oh. Names. Oh, I love you, Kaine. Oh, don't have many items, though. That's an issue. Loading, loading. So what happens now? Where where in the story are we? Come here, you annoying little bastards. What level am I? I'm back up to level 47. Holy shit. 
Holy shit, this is awesome. Miss having magic, though. Oh, gosh, every last one of you. Feels like there's a lot of shades around lately. Maybe I should check in on Yona's village. Well, maybe you should do that, or maybe you should just enjoy being badass a little longer. Power of this video is just gonna be me running around kicking asses, Kaine. Oh. Didn't really hurt, but tossed me around a bit. Don't run away. Where are you going? Two can play at that game. That I'm interested in playing near again. Just like last night, I was posting on Twitter about how I wasn't sure if getting this ending was worth it. Die, damn you! Die! Hey, get back! It's dangerous here. <laughs> you got any idea who you're life, talking buddy. to? Oh, come on. village not know who she is after saving Yona thanks for the save shades have been on the rise around here lately now go home oh believe me I want to thing is I've got a job to take care of see we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone in the forest of myth why would you want to somebody's got to go over there and make sure they're all right and that someone is you. You will make it ten feet before some shade mauls your ass. What? Really? Oh, man. Thanks a million. Does, I, I wasn't oh, volunteering. Wait. You should take these. I'll wait for you around here. And thanks again. Guess we're going to the Forest of Myth. Now, I also recently just finished, uh, 
Nier Automata and took the time to read some of the documents in that game, so I have a lot more sense of what's about to happen here. A little bit of sense of what's going to happen here, or at least how it all ends up. But I am very eager to talk to Devil on Popola for sure. Kaina came to see me. She came all the way here just to see me. Oh, they updated it so she visits. Which means hey, she actually goes into the anybody town. Anybody home? Ooh, that's not a good sign. Shit. Uh-oh. Magical tree. <sighs> Say anything new? No. What are those things doing here? <gasps> Wait, did they kill the villagers? The machines have arrived. Keep on coming. They arrive through magic things? That's not what I was expecting. Why would robots be coming out of a place like that? Don't suck me in, don't suck me in. I'm going to greatly regret not saving just now, aren't I? What's going on here? What's a place like this doing inside a tree? Sorry about that. Killed the original Gestalt. Now the remaining Gestalts run wild because they have nowhere left to go. Your actions have caused the deaths of countless replicants. Show your damn faces already! Do not be hasty. Soon we shall meet. Soon we shall meet. Everyone, let's play. Okay, maybe that's not the best strategy.
this is not what I thought it was going to be, but it's very cool. <laughs> yes! said we won't get anywhere like this. What were you saying? Me? Hold on one second. <laughs> Pollux's ball rolled under a uh, cabinet. There you go, boy. I felt so bad watching him try and get it. Other me's are brittle as hell. I ought to be insulted. It matters not how many copies you destroy. They must simply disperse and immediately reconstruct themselves. There is still much fun to be had. We have finally come to the end. God damn 
you're annoying. I'm gonna tear these freaks apart, eat the pieces, and shit them into a trash can! Fucking hell. That's a lot of them, yeah. Well, they stopped showing damage, so I have to assume so. Yeah. Been all this Kane, time. Are you okay? Uh, Meal? You betcha. Anywho. <laughs> they probably weren't counting on that word. Then. It's good to see you safe. Circle. I think it's acting as an energy source. If we can destroy it, all the other kinase should disappear too. Got it. I'll take care of the magic circle. You focus on kicking some kinase butt. Uh, I mean, the other kinase butts, not your kinase butt. You, the real kinase. Yeah, I get it, Emil. Just focus. Couple of little fucks. Gosh, it feels like it's been forever since we fought together. This it has seems been. Familiar. I think there was someone else who used to fight with us. My memories. Doorway? Beyond here lies that which was lost. A final call for you to reclaim. A copied city or what? What have we got? don't seem to be any bad guys around. Yeah. Emil, I didn't get a chance to ask yet with all the fighting and shit, but what happened to you back then? And where have you been? And why the hell do you have four arms? Kaine, I counted six. I, look, it's gonna take okay. way too long to get into all that now. Fine. <sighs> I was worried, you know? Aw, Kaine. But look at us now. Team oh, it's Camille, a reconstruction of the uh, Shadow Lord's yeah. castle. Okay. I guess so. <laughs> Kaine, I, I feel like I've forgotten something really important. Tell me about it. You too? Yeah. I can't really describe it. 
but it's like my mind is filled with this weird fog. I think I made a promise to somebody? Like, that we would go eat something delicious? <laughs> well then, we'll just have to get those memories back. Yeah! Okay, don't want to risk interrupting dialogue by switching screens. Okay, it would have been fine, just didn't want to risk it. feel an enormous magical power ahead. Just don't do anything rash. Got it? Got it. Same goes for you, Kaine. I don't want to be alone anymore. Yeah. And I swear, if they make me delete my data again, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> she does the anime run too, which we have to appreciate. I, I suppose Nier did too, but hers is much more pronounced, I think. Is this the convention hall? The Shadow Lord's castle? You're just catching Pine, on? I'm sensing some powerful magic up ahead. This is a very special place. To you. And to the world. So what is it? Apparently you want me to hit it. That is the core frame of this forest, within which a great variety of information is stored. Inside it exists all that this world is, including the memories you have lost. Oh, come on. Don't get to decide who lives in her. Dies. That voice. It's the one from my dreams. I've heard that voice before. These are your memories. I'm ready to repeat them. You made it this far because you were with us, Kane. Damn it. What is this? Oh, that's a lot to do at once. I think shit purse is going to be a new insult I try to incorporate into my into my Ooh, we changed to sepia. This is significant. But yeah, I'm going to try to incorporate I? into that mo my Mil vocabulary. These are your memories. These are your records. This is your world. What the hell is this? Sweet memories from deep within. Hidden memories that were sealed away. You're hacking yourself, Kaine. Shades? Shades. Human souls that have gone to shot. off of this at some point. It's easier if you just accept that from the beginning. I've not understood a single fucking thing you shitty little ass grabbers have said since we Goddamn adventure! Yeah, this change in interface and color scheme is really significant. Thank you. 
Enough with this bullshit, I. You have heard many voices. If you thought I would remember to unmute after sneezing, you have not been paying attention. So I'm here recording over this after the fact as I edit this video. I honestly don't remember much of my commentary at that point. I was pretty just focused on getting through this. Poor Gretel. But there's a reading section coming up in a bit, and so I absolutely wanted to make sure I read through that for everyone. This is the deepest place in your memories. Memories you had sealed away. And this one is your worst memory. Of course they were going to bring him back. Because we haven't fought him enough today. Motherfucker. Yep, my thoughts exactly. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. You goddamn shit fucking despicable piece of garbage! And we're off again. I love the change in interface here. For those of you who are familiar with it, this is the user interface for uh, Automata. Everything has become digital because they are acknowledging the replicant's existence as inorganic beings, as robots essentially, or androids. The fact that she can remember someone was there is impressive on its own. Oh, this part was so annoying. Just the digitation, like turning everything into just simple cubes instead of the complex like polyhedrons and stuff. I, I love it. Now that I look at this again, I realize these are the balls that he's been spitting out. These are the child shades that were actually gestalts intended to be sent back into replicants eventually before Kaine and Jonah threw a wrench in all that. 
think it's charging up its magic. Get you think? Down here, you worthless, piss guzzling shit rag. Ow. <laughs> really hurt. And you lose pretty much all mobility, you can't attack, can't dodge, can't run, like this is, I am hitting every button at this point. Where they want you to go here, I think you just wander around until you die. Fuck. This is bad. <laughs> when Kaine's eyes flutter open, she sees a dozen villagers quizzically staring back. After a moment, she realizes she's collapsed on the ground where sharp stones dig at her flesh like, whatever, that's not important right now. She pulls herself to her knee before rising on unsteady feet and sparing a glance at her surroundings. The fuck? What happened? Wasn't I just fighting shades? Her mind races as her hand gropes unconsciously for the blade that has been her constant companion for so very long. Though she can't explain it, it's clear she has somehow been transported to an entirely new world. Well, not entirely new. She recognizes the hawk-shaped weather vane twisting slowly in the wind above her, as well as the small, round homes with wisps of smoke drifting into the air. And of course, there are the villagers currently staring at her with a mixture of fear and disgust. Oh yes, they are a familiar sight indeed. She is in the airy. She is home. Is something the matter, girl? Kaine spins around at the voice and sees a woman ravaged by time. Her narrow hips barely seem strong enough to hold her body upright. Whilst the shawl wrapped around her thin frame appears ready to fall apart at any moment. Grandma, is that really you? Her grandmother's eyes grow almost comically wide before blinking several times in succession. What's wrong with you, fool girl? Is your head lost in dreams? Dreams? Could this be a dream? But it feels so real. But she's dead. Grandma's dead. I watched that goddamn shade kill her. So if this isn't a dream, how the hell is she here? Unless those shades killed me too. That must be it. I'm dead. I'm dead and this is... Oh, stop with that nonsense already. Kaine flinches as her grandmother's hand raises... As her grandmother raises a hand in the air, expecting pain to come as correction for her foolishness. But instead of a blow, her grandmother simply places the hand upon her granddaughter's cheek. The warmth of it instantly spreads from her cheek to her face before filling her entire body with a kind of beautiful light. Are you upset? Do you want to go home? What's wrong, What's wrong girl? asks her grandmother. Kaine feels tears coming to her eyes and struggles to hold them back. Though she still has no idea what is happening, she knows one thing for certain. This is her grandmother. So sorry, Grandma. Not sure where my head was at there. Well, just make sure you keep it attached. Her grandmother chuckles as she pulls her hand away. Maybe this is a dream. Or maybe I'm already dead. I don't know. But either way, I'm not alone. As long as Grandma is with me, that's enough. Didn't I just tell you to stop spacing out, girl? Her grandmother says with a cackle. 
Here now, hold this. She hands Kaine a large sack filled to bursting with all manners of fruits and vegetables. Damn, Grandma, this is a lot. Well, it's important to treat yourself every now and then. Besides, these villagers may hate us, but the bastards are more than willing to take our money. We'll, send, we'll lend support as we can, even if they have to hold their noses while we do it. Her grandmother trails off as if trying to remember something, then slowly turns around. Well, what do you know? In all the excitement, I forgot to buy my medicine. A thin smile wavers on her face for a moment, before vanishing into a lifetime's worth of crevices and wrinkles, causing Kaine to take a concerned step forward. No, Grandma, that's fine. You go home and rest. I'll get the medicine. Her grandmother hesitates, clearly trying to weigh her needs for rest against her granddaughter's odd behavior of a moment before. Before she can start to argue, Kaine charges ahead, ignoring the small voice in her head that's telling her what a bad idea all of this is. So yeah, this is the memory right before the shade kills her grandmother. She's gone right before her worst memory. Before everything goes to hell. Really, Grandma, it's fine. Go home. I've got this. She pulls her grandmother's ancient wallet from her fingers, an act that requires a surprising amount of strength. Besides, you know how stubborn I am. Once my mind is set, there's no changing it. Hmm, I wonder where you get that from. Seeing that further argument will be useless, her grandmother slowly turns and begins the long journey home. Kaine watches the figure recede from her vision, waiting for what seems an eternity to ensure everything is all right. Once the frail shadow finally vanishes over the horizon, she turns on a heel and makes for the apothecary. Ho oh, there, says the elderly apothecary as Kaine enters the store. Here for Kali's medicine, are you? Though few b villagers had ever bothered to learn her grandmother's name, she and the apothecary were old friends. Perhaps that was the reason he'd always showed her kindness when so many others did not. Uh, yeah, if it's not a bother. The shopkeeper immediately sets about his work, deftly pulling bottles and herbs from the shelves and mixing them with a practiced hand. Soon, a peculiar, sm a peculiar smell begins to drift through the store, one that immediately reminds Kaine of her childhood. There you are, says the apothecary, as he holds out a small cloth bag. Sorry for the wait. Oh, and say, that's a fine portrait you drew of your grandmother. Looks just like her, so it does. Honestly, I've never seen Kali so over the moon about anything. She brags about it every time she stops by. You saw that, says Kaine, eyes narrowing. Said portrait was something she had whipped up one day after getting her hands on some crayons, and to call it rough would be an act of purest generosity. The idea her grandmother was displaying it around town makes Kaine's stomach want to sink down to her feet before slinking off into a hole somewhere. You bet I saw it, the pleased apothecary says. She brought it all the way here just to show me. My, but it's been a long time since I've seen something so wonderful. Kaine's mind begins to whirl. The picture was shit. She was sure it was shit. And yet the man's dis reaction displayed the exact opposite opinion. Is he just being nice to me? The apothecary, as if sensing her skepticism, doubles down. I could really tell you put your heart into it. It was simply wonderful. Um, thanks, Kaine offers, who just wants the entire conversation to be over. She briefly considers how she's going to make her grandmother cease her little traveling art show, but then realizes that train has likely left the station. I stopped at this phrase because that's an odd turn of phrase in a world with no trains. Shaking her head to banish her increasingly shrill thoughts, she grips the bag of medicine tightly and turns to leave. 
but just as she reaches the door, she hears a loud thud from behind, from somewhere back in the shop. Kaine turns around to see the apothecary crouching on the floor. Uh, hey there, you okay? When Kaine does not reply, Kaine, when he, the man does not reply, Kaine moves toward him. She assumes he just slipped on something, or perhaps hit his head on one of the low-hanging shelves in the crowded shop. But the moment she draws close to him, she hears him begin to scream inside her mind. My leg! My leg! My leg! My leg! Oh God, where's my leg? Panicked, Kaine looks down and discovers that the man's leg is gone. Help me! screams the voice in her head. Help me! As Kaine looks on in horror, the man's fingers begin to shimmer and vanish. He reaches out for her with his only with his other hand, only to find that it, too, is no longer th there. Soon his arm goes, then his legs, then the side of his face warbles out of existence, causing a stray eyeball to roll out of its socket and onto the floor. Help, it says, if it could even be called, says the voice, if it could even be called that anymore. I can't. A moment later, what remains of the pitiful shopkeeper collapses into an heap of ash, releasing a small puff into the suddenly silent air. I'm going to stop here because I'll pick up from the actual recording in just a moment, as you will hear. Holy fuck, I muted myself again. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to go and read over all this again for you guys. I'm sorry. <sighs> <sighs> I don't even know how long it's been. Okay. Starting from this page. As Kainai stumbles back in horror, she hears a cacophony of terror rising up outside. Oh God, what's happening? My arms, where are my arms? Why can't I see? Kaine bursts out of the store and finds herself in a nightmare. Homes slough off the sides of cliffs, taking out pieces of scaffolding as they fall. Screams echo out everywhere, creating an opera fit for hell. Villagers run in mad circles before exploding into dust, their clothing drifting this way and that as it floats untethered through the air. Welcome to the end game. <laughs> As she stares at the scene, wide-eyed, a single thought suddenly inserts itself into the forefront of her mind. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so well. Grandma! <laughs> Kaine breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stones to cross a world that is increasing, lose, increasingly losing cohesion. As she continues her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face, her mouth, her eyes. Ash, ash, ash. Buildings and peoples all redurse to so many cinders in the wind. Soon she arrives at her child home, childhood home, it was once a place filled of precious memories, a place she regarded as an oasis in an increasingly mad world, but now it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gapes unbelievingly at the sight, a faint sound suddenly reaches her ears. Kaine. She's alive. Grandma's alive. With a speed born out of panic, she leaps into the giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and she burns her lungs, but she continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small, blackened form out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma, she whispers. We're getting out of here. Without waiting for a response, Kaine gathers her grandmother in her arms and breaks into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the wave of ash has become a tsunami. And before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kaine stumbles and falls, sending her and her grandma tumbling into the ashes. One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. 
Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me, mutters Kaine as she slings her grandmother off her shoulder and begins to crawl away. We're going to make it. We're going to live. As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter, as if trying to magically reduce the weight of her own burden. And as Kaine continues to struggle, she hears a small, soft voice enter her ear. Thank you, Kaine. Thank you. As the voice drifted away, the last of the pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on a small breeze. Kaine screams, an impossibly sad and lonely sound, and begins trying to pull the ashes back to her. This can't be happening. It can't be happening. But the ashes are mingling with all the other detritus from the collapsed village, and soon she can no longer tell which particles belong to who. Come on, come on, come the fuck on already! As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a piece of soft, ragged fabric, her grandmother's shawl. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it, and I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't save anyone. I couldn't even escape. I just felt the peace in the place and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there was nothing here. No reason to live, no goal, no anything. So this is why Sorry. I'm... Suddenly a new voice enters Kaine's world. I say, can you hear me? After a moment, the voice calls out again, louder, clearer. Now then, you wish to get him back, hmm? Him, replied Kaine. Who are you? Who, who are you talking about? Oh, for the love of all the heavens, I always did know you were a handful. Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerves, there's something else as well. A kind of warmth, almost a... Familiar. Are you truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? Says the voice which causes something deep in Kaine's memories to surge forth. That's right. I had friends, and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realize, realization, a blinding, radiant beam of light shoots out across the ash-covered world. Covering her eyes with one trembling hand, Kaine reaches Do forward. hurry back now, hussy. Okay, I think that might be the one time I've been happy to hear that word. I get magic again? Please give me magic again. What is the matter? Do you still not remember? You have not time to become lost in your thoughts. Right. Okay. Let's get him back! Use my map. It's a top of the beast. I presume you know how to use magic, yes? And give us a show, hussy! I don't need your help to take out this goddamn fuck waffle! Oh, fuck waffle, I like that one too. I'd use my power to knock the creature down with magic. Here. Shit, this thing is tough. Let the next onslaught be our last. Hey, Vice. Yes. Thanks. 
Have you been in your cups again? Fuck your face. Ah, that's more like it. Oh my gosh, I may still die anyway. Make me delete my data. I'm actually just gonna shut off the PlayStation and try to do it again. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I already made up my mind. Nobody tells me what to do. I swore I would be a sword. I swore that I would be your sword. Do you hear me? So I am going to get you back, and I don't care what it takes. Who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that, huh? I'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me. It's my life, and I'll do whatever I want with it. So quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit, and get your ass back here now! Save data, deleting, and ending E, D will be restored. No. <laughs> yes, we're actually going to go back and kind of... <sighs> I'm going to have to re-record this, quite frankly. Or not. Let's... No, I'm not going to give up. We're just going to play through. We're just going to play through. Hope I have all the footage I need. Fuck. I 
I am so fucking confused. No, no, I'm not. We get it. Okay, we get it. Well, at some point I should probably go through the weapon stories. Select a file to restore. Okay. I leave the rest to you, Hasi. I am so fucking confused. Even more confused. like, what the fuck? <laughs> Our journey may have been meaningless. Our past may have been a mistake. But we're not going back. Even if this world comes to an end. Because this... This is the world with the people we cherish. Okay, but what's with the giant flower? <laughs> See where we end up now. Pfft. Hold on. Oh, I will have to. A parting greeting has been added to the options menus. Visit the woman's house to acquire a new weapon. And another update. What do I even. Which one do I load? Where's this going to bring me in? I'm so confused. And I'm also wondering what happens if you choose not to bring Jonah back. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. Oh right, this is before you ever enter the uh, Shadow Lord's castle. Which means 
means you have the option of just noping the fuck out of here. Not used to running this way. Alright. Uh, unless, like, there's dialogue or something, I'll catch you at Kaine's house. Wonder, are you gonna get Kaine's weapons to be able to use? Here we are. Let's see what they give us. One-handed sword, Kaine sword, yep. extra heavy I don't how is that extra heavy oh my word options I may have to go to the main screen again I'm actually gonna save this in the top slot yeah I'm so very cute, confused about what counts as what. Is it going to let me go through and do that ending E again if I go into slot 2? This is all great mystery. Alright, but I do want to... Oh, options, other. Maybe I do have to go to the main menu. Okay. Nope. Wrong. I was hitting down. Come on. Parting greeting. All right, is everybody here? Present and accounted for. You betcha. Sure. All right then. <clears throat> Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for playing. playing. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, Yona, why aren't you in bed? Oh hey, it's my big big brother. You know, I'm so Dad. sorry. I just didn't want to miss this. Try and take it easy on her, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't turn down a request from your adorable little sister, would ya? Popola! Devola! You're here too? <laughs> Looks like you're having yourself a grand old time, sunshine! Okay, who was that? Shut up, Tyrion. You'll just make things complicated. We haven't all the time in the world, hmm? Let us finish what we came here to do. So, it's really gonna be over, huh? Does that make anyone else feel sad? We have to say goodbye yes. eventually. But hey, I'm sure we'll meet again. You really think so? I'm getting hungry over here. Wanna hurry this up? Alright. Once again, from the top. Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Ready? One, two, thank, thank you for playing. playing! Oh, that was amazing. And thank you all for joining me. This will probably be the end of my near videos. I may do a bonus video of going back and seeing what happens if you don't bring Jonah back, if it lets me. But otherwise, this is it. We have made it through near replicants. Hold on. Version 1.22474481. Sorry, 87139, etc., etc., etc. We have done it. Thank you all for this wonderful journey. I am so glad we could experience this together, and I can't wait to hear all your thoughts in the comments. I will see you all next time. Uh, I have already picked out the next game that I'll be start loading 
in January. It's bought, it's purchased, it's installed. All right, I just want to kick it off in the new year. So I am looking forward to joining you then. Have a great one and I will see you later.